Today I will be teaching how to add fractions using the butterfly effect and in this method we will also be multiplying so this would have to be used for kids that know how to multiply. So to begin with we will use the fractions one third plus one half. We're going to start off looking like this. And then what we're going to do is we're going to cross multiply. So you're going to grab your 1 and your 2 and your 1 and your 3 to look like that. So those are your wings for your butterfly. And then what we're going to do is we're going to draw the antennas, one going that way and one going that way, looking like this. And then we will draw the bottom part of our butterfly, looking like this. Now the next step is to cross multiply. And doing that, we will do 1 times 2 and 3 times 1. And 1 times 2 answer will go up here. And 3 times 1 answer will go up here. So 1 times 2 will be 2. And 3 times 1 would be 3. Now for this bottom part, 3 times 2 and that is 6. And 6 will go in the little bottom area. Now to get the answer, we're going to add across. So 3 plus 2 would be 5. And that would be our numerator. And our denominator would be 6. So 1 3rd plus 1 half equals 5 6. Now for another example, we're going to do a much bigger number to where we have to make it into a whole number and have leftovers. So with that being said, we're going to do 3 fourths, 2 fifths. Now again, we're going to cross multiply, so we have to draw our wings, and then draw our other one. The next step would be our antennas, one that way, one that way, and then our bottom part. And you can even draw the little balls, parts, to make it look more like antennas. So 3 times 5 would go up here, and that would be 15, Whoops. and then 4 times 2 would be 8. 4 times 5 is 20, so again, you put it in the bottom. So, at this point, we're going to add across. So, 15 plus 8 would be 23. So, 23 would be our numerator. And 20 would be our denominator because it's 5. And since there's not two numbers, we're just going to move it across. Now, 23 is bigger than 20, so we can make this number into a whole number. So to make it into a whole number, it would be 1, because there's 20 and 20. So it would be, there's 3 left over after you take 20 away. So it would be 3 twentieths. And that would be our new answer. And I hope this helps with kids that are learning how to do fractions that are hard for them. But it's also easier for older kids that know how to multiply, and it will help them a lot.